Welcome to the video channel of Shakti Karola Navrin, who is an expert in the field of healing gemstones. She is a published author as well as the creator of the gemstone profile based on your horoscope. Welcome. This is Shakti, your astrologer and gemstone expert. So today I want to talk about the crystal quartz and about the five different ways you can use uh, gemstones in a very particular way, uh, and especially the crystal quartz. So the first way is you can use them as objects of beauty to delight the eyes and the soul. So I have surrounded myself in my home with uh, all kinds of crystals. So they're little crystal groups, uh, especially in my workspace, um, I have crystals sitting around where I can rest my eyes uh, in between uh, work. Um, I keep a crystal ball behind the screen to create a harmonized energy field. Uh, I place a crystal uh, wherever I uh, want to lay down and take a contemplative rest to recenter myself. So I have crystals at my bedside. I have little altars everywhere. So, so crystals are just part of my decoration and my lifestyle. So they're objects of beauty, but they actually do so much more than that. So the second way uh, is to consciously create like little altar spaces. So uh, maybe you have a design spot for an altar in your home, and that's a wonderful way to invite the divine into your daily consciousness. So you can use crystals to bring sacredness into your space, and they can also serve as a focal point for your awareness towards what is most important for you in your life and truly nourishing. So an altar is a very private and personal place for beauty, for reverence. Uh, so you might want to place on your altar objects which have a special meaning for you which particularly appeal to what is beautiful in your mind. So uh, I always have um, all kinds of Buddha figures. I have flowers. Um, you can see the, the orchids there in the back. I have photographs of loved ones and, of course, at least one crystal or several crystals. So. The idea is that the crystal can serve as a magnifier, as a magnifier for your prayers or setting your intentions and goals. So I will actually make a specific video about how you can do that. The third way is to program your crystal. Uh, the programming has a lot to do with you being able to focus and concentrate in order to attract your dreams and goals. So the law of attraction teaches us that in order to allow the fulfillment of our desires, we need to be open, receptive, and overall we need to be on the right frequency to be able to receive our desired goals. So that means we need to stay focused uh, on what we want or the solution of a problem and not on what we don't want or the problem at hand. So energy always moves where the focus is. So this is why crystals and gemstones in general can help you to keep your intention and your focus. And whenever you, you look back at that beautiful piece, uh, even if it's only unconsciously, it will hold that focus for you because you programmed something specifically into it. So the fourth big area I use crystals for to reduce electrosmog which has become a, a big deal in our uh, totally computerized uh, uh, lifestyle. So the radiation from your computer, your, your phone, uh, all the, the gadgets we have around us 
um, we know it's actually very unhealthy because it kind of impacts our personal energy field. And especially because most of us, we do spend long hours at the computer and uh, part of the, the tiredness is that we truly being zapped of our energy from, from those frictions uh, and that electrosmog energies from the computer. So just as green plants can clean the air in your home, crystal quartz can do that on the uh, frequency level and it can help to protect you from electrosmog. And uh, therefore, it, it helps you to stabilize your own energy field and it helps you to concentrate. So I keep a small cluster of quartz crystals just like this under my screen. And I also have taped a single crystal to my computer tower down there. And it really has made a difference in my energy field. The fifth area is you can deepen your meditation with crystals, which is really cool. So no matter what type of meditation you practice, it's always about emptying your mind and relaxing into a deeper level of consciousness, into your inner sanctuary, your place of connection with the divine. And this is where your inner source of inspiration and creativity is. So this is uh, your zone. So the perfectly aligned and balanced structures of a quartz crystal, like uh, being crystallized in this hexagonal structure ending in the tip, this perfect alignment can help and support us to achieve a deep state of relaxation and focus. So the most common way to meditate is using crystals uh, laying down. So you can place several of those crystals or gemstones on your body. Uh, for mental clarity, you can place one on your third eye between your eyebrows. And you can place crystals anywhere on your body where you want to discharge negative energy, where you want to uh, unblock yourself, um, get the energy going again and of course you can place gemstones or crystals in the center of your body along the chakra system. So you can think about wherever you put those stones you will kind of enhance the energetic flow, the influx. And then there is another way you can put down bigger crystals, like at, at least like this size, and you put them down on the floor in specific patterns and you lay down inside that pattern. So when I used to do gemstone seminars in Germany many years ago, uh, I would create this different uh, energy fields with crystals and uh, have had people lay into them and uh, it turned everybody into a believer because depending on how you lay the stones you will really feel very different effects depending on the specific patterns as the crystals lay on the floor so you will feel deeply refreshed and balanced after laying in a crystal energy field for about 20 minutes so this is really a, a wonderful way to, to really take it from believing that gemstones do have some energies into you laying there and you know. Well, if you like my presentation, make sure you sign up there for a subscription so you get automatically informed when I uh, bring up new videos. Uh, I have a main channel, Shakti Karola Nevrin, where I'm working more with astrology, uh, but also there are going to be some videos about the connection between astrology and healing gems and how you can use healing gems to balance different areas of challenge and friction in your chart. Uh, but on this channel, I'm going to uh, concentrate on, on the mysterious world of gemstones and uh, different ways how to can use crystals and gemstones. 
I have developed a program called the Gemstone Profile where you can put in your astrological data and then you get your main healing stones uh, based on all the different planet positions in your chart. So you might want to check that out. If you're a gemstone lover, that's uh, next step. So you can go to my astrology site, mauiastrologyreading.com, and this is where you can find the gemstone profile and a little bit more information about healing gemstones, metaphysical qualities of gemstones, and so on. So thank you for joining and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next uh, videos about how you program crystals and all the specific things we can do. So see you soon. Aloha, as we say here on Maui.